Hello and welcome to Whiting Academy. My name is Oka, and today we will be talking about Coque de Leon products from Whiting. And the Coque de Leon is actually a hen breed from Spain and France in Europe. And these feathers have been used for flies in that area for centuries. And then Thomas Whiting brought the, the breed to his farm and started to breed on these birds. So now you have quite a big range of products with Coque de Leon. The first product that probably most of people think about when they talk about Coque de Leon is the saddle feathers with very long fibers on the hackle. And these are mainly used to start with for tailing on dry flies. But they also become very popular for people tying saltwater flies and shrimp imitation. Uh, then you have the rooster cape which have sort of the same hackle as the saddles, but the fibers are slightly shorter. And these are also used for a lot of saltwater flies and, and bigger dry flies. And as you can see, the feathers are quite shiny and the shininess is sort of significant for the Coque de Leon. Here you have two different uh, breeds of Coque de Leon, which Thomas Whiting sort of started to breed. This is the true brown natural, and the grizzly coque de Leon. Uh, and these are available dyed as well. Now we have some products that are probably not as well known as the rooster product, and that's the product from the hen. Uh, here you have the hen cape, which has the same sort of uh, coloration in the, in the hackle. So really nice uh, striking coloration. And the fibers are a bit stiffer than an ordinary hen feather, but it works excellent as a color on, on tube flies or saltwater flies. You can also use them on shrimp flies as well. Then we have some products that are quite unique for this bird as well. And the first thing is the uh, soft hackle shikabo. The soft hackle patch and the shikabo patch. And this comes from the chest of the bird. So this is the chest, chest pa uh, patch and this is the part that's between the leg on the bird. And these are really nice to use on soft hackle flies. And the chikabu on this is well marked as well. So they are perfect for sort of tails instead of marabou, tails for woolly buggers and, and flies like, like that. Uh, and finally, we have three unique products from the Coq de Leon, and this is the tailing packs. First is what they call the tailing pack, which contains the super feathers for tailing for dry flies. And every bag contains two patches. The other product is this one, which is called Tailing Pack Mayfly. And as you can see, these are taken from the shoulder of the bird. You can actually see some of the wing feathers on these patches. These fibers are slightly longer than the tailing packs and are a bit softer as well. So you can use them as a tail for dry flies, but you can also use them if you tie in a bundle of fibers, you can use them to wind the body on your dry fly as well. Sort of think like a pheasant tail type of, of fibers. And finally, you have <coughs> what's called the Euronymphing tailing pack, which is actually a small piece from a saddle. And some of these have really, really long uh, fibers. Let's see if we can show them. You can see it's, it's sort of a couple of centimeters long. So this is a super alternative instead of spay feathers for spay shrimp and, and actually on, on spay flies for, for salmon, you can use them as a spay hackle on a tube, for example. And they are main, the first thing with this is they were mainly thought as tailing on uh, jig nymphs. So they are available in some bright colors as well, which also works perfect on shrimp pattern. For example, orange, pink, red, and stuff like that. So this is an example of the range from Coque de Leon from Whiting. 